video, I'm going to show you how to figure out the offsets of a structure, the members of a structure, as well as figure out how to access structures in an array in assembly. So the first thing that we have to do is look at the structure we're talking about. So I have a C++ program here written already. And we have my struct. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. So we have my struct and it has int a, b, c, and d. So what we do is we do what's called NOS. It's called, it stands for name, offset, and size. So what I'm going to do is draw a table that has name, offset, and size. So that's your NOS table that we're talking about. So it's the name of the member. So in there we have members A, B, C, and D. Offset determines, okay, from the start of the memory address, where do we actually find this member in memory? And then the size is just simply the size of the member in memory. So let's take a look and let's, the two easiest ones are the size and the name. The name you just copy down, A, B, C, and D. So A, what's its size? Well, it's an integer, so its size is four. B is a long, so its size is eight. Char is, a, is, I'm sorry, C is a char, so its size is one. And D is a pointer, so its size is eight. Now, when figuring out the offset, we have, to, we have to know this formula to determine what the offset is. And that is offset mod size must equal zero. It has to, okay? If it doesn't equal zero, you add padding. Means you keep adding to the offset until offset mod size is equal to zero. So let's take a look at this. For the NOS table, the very first uh, member in the structure is always at offset zero because it's the very top of the memory. So offset zero always contains the first member. Now to figure out the second member, we do zero plus four, which gives us four. And then we apply it here. Four mod eight is equal to four. Okay, so we keep adding until we get until we get this to equal to zero. So what's five mod eight? Well, that's five. Well, we know that we won't get eight mod eight is the only thing is equal to zero. So we won't get the offset or the uh, formula to equal zero until our offset is at least eight. So our offset is eight. So what happens to the four bytes in between? Because this only goes from 0 to 3. Well, 4, 5, 6, 7 are all padding. Typically, it's left to 0, but it doesn't have to be. It could just contain garbage. They're just unused bytes. And there's a reason for that that we'll cover in, week f in, in future weeks. But there's a reason that uh, we have to make sure that our table looks like this. Okay, so let's look at uh, C. So the next offset we can have is 8 plus 8, which is 16. So what's 16 mod 1? Well, that's equal to zero. Anything mod one, anything divided by one is zero. And so we can put this right at 16, okay? So looking at D, we have 17 mod eight. Well, that's equal to one because 16 divided by eight is two. 17 divided by eight is two with a remainder of one. And so we have to keep adding to it until we actually figure out the next thing that's divisible by eight, which is 24. Okay, now we have to figure out what the size is. So just like we figured out the first offset is always zero, the size is always the last offset plus the last size. So 24 plus 8 gives us 32 bytes. So this structure of A, B, C, and D is equal to 32 bytes. And that's how we figure it out. So what I'm going to do is run this little simple program that actually tests what the offset is, what its memory location is, and see if that's what we come up with. Okay, notice we have offset 0, offset 8, offset 16, and offset 24. Okay, now I'm going to do a size of just to make sure everything is going swimmingly. So I'm going to do printf size of s is equal to this. And when we do that, we see the size of is actually 32 bytes, just like we expected. So the offset of A is indeed 0. The offset of B is indeed 8. The offset of C is indeed 16. And D is 24. And the size is 32. So once again, the first offset is always 0. The size of the structure is always the last offset plus the last size, which gives us 32 bytes. And then to figure out the offset in between, we use the formula offset mod, mod size must equal 0. So that's how we figure out the NOS table.